Got it. How about them apples, huh? <laughs> Gosh, I can't stress you guys enough. Like, I'm pretty good at driving a, tra a trailer. Backing up's not a problem, but just not even having to think about it, just pulling just like a normal car or truck, back into all these tight spaces, whip it around. guys when it's really wet like this we like to do two passes all the way around the perimeter just to cut down on any chance we accidentally blow anything onto the house you know gutters anything like that we just want to keep it as clean as possible
trimmer's not running right. Uh, we gotta switch it out. Losing power. Still problem. So I went back to the truck real quick, pulled the spark arrestor out of it, cleaned it off, put it back in, didn't help at all. So I took the spark arrestor completely out altogether and it didn't help anymore. So we're going to have to take this one in. I think the carburetor maybe needs a cleaning or something like that. Uh, anyways, went ahead and grabbed TQ's trimmer. She got started cleaning off and uh, yeah, I headed out back to get it finished up and yeah, we'll both finish up at about the same time here. It uh, really started raining pretty heavy. It was actually supposed to move out of our area. And yeah, this one must have just developed. And uh, yeah, we paid for it here in just a little bit for sure. But got to get some of these lawns cut, man. Customers are not very happy right now. And yeah, they understand as well. But, you know, it's also the grass is just getting so tall. It's honestly super frustrating and uh, not the way we hope to start the season. Tell you what, it was a pretty chilly morning when we first started, but uh, I'm hot now. I'm soaked. Gotta get this hoodie off. I'm glad we could get this one in. Looks pretty good for as wet as it is. Customers have been calling like crazy and trying to get to them. We understand. Everybody wants mowed. We want to mow, but Mother Nature doesn't want us to. <laughs> But we got her done. Mowing in rain sucks, but it's going to be part of it. Especially if you're in this business. Everybody's moods are a lot better, though, whenever it's sunny. Including mine. TQ laid it out. If you're wondering what we're mowing at, this was four inches. We typically like to mow this one no lower than three and a half. But, yeah really good anytime we're mowing in the rain the mowers become a mess naturally so we always just leave them sit in the grassy areas near the trailer to let any of that excess up under the deck fall onto the ground and then we go ahead and blow them off when we're done as well before we put them up on a trailer just to cut down on how much debris we're bringing with us and we don't want to transport any more grass or weeds or anything from one lawn to the next lawn. It's a big thing that a lot of companies overlook and can absolutely destroy a lawn if uh, it's not taken care of, I guess you could say. You could literally take weeds from one lawn to the next lawn and just completely ruin it.
Yeah, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. So probably one of our most common questions is, what headphones do we like to wear? Depends. If I'm listening to a podcast, I like my Beats. If I'm listening to music, I like my Isotunes. Uh, I don't have a code for Beats. Uh, I do have a code, code Spencer, for Isotunes. It'll save you a little bit there. But uh, yeah, look at this baby here. Yeah. It is tall. Sounds like somebody's going to jail. Or an alarm. So I know it's the beginning of the season and we've had a ton of messages from a lot of you that you're having issues, things are breaking down, some of you are having really good starts to your season, others not so good like ourselves here. And uh, yeah, this is part of business guys. It is not going to be easy. It is not going to be all sunshine and rainbows. Every day is not going to be peaches and cream. I've told you guys this for years and years and years. And uh, yeah, when those good days do come, we like to relish in them and take them uh, with a, a grain of salt, I guess you could say, because we know those days aren't going to last, but also you need to make sure you're enjoying those days as well. I was on a call last night with a great group of individuals, and uh, one of the gentlemen brought up a saying, and I don't remember who he said exactly said it. I didn't get a chance to write it down because I was paying attention, but it, the saying said, and, it, and the abbreviation was I-D-M-G-B. And uh, basically, it, it stands for, it doesn't matter, get better. And some of us might be saying, well, what does that mean? You know, it doesn't matter, get better. Well, at the end of the day, guys, it's how we resolve problems and how we handle them and how we react to them that's going to lead us into a, a path of success or a path of failure. And all of us want to be successful. I want you guys and gals out there to succeed. But we're all on a path here that, you know, it, it can go off the rail. It can, you know, sink into the ocean. It can stay on a straight and narrow line. We're all different and we're all on a different path. But at the end of the day, we can lift one another up, especially in this community. It's been so great to us for so many years, and we feel as if we've been really good to you guys as well. You know, this isn't a one-way road, and we hope this is beneficial for everybody. So, yeah, at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't matter. Just get better. If the equipment breaks down and pulleys don't show up, figure it out, come up with a resolution, and get better. Let's freaking go. I wanted to share that with you guys crush it out there. Good luck this 2024 season. We're going to smash this one. We got caught by rain and it's a ton of fun out here. Yay. All right, guys. So I got you set up there. Everything's going good. It hasn't stopped raining, but like usual, everything's going good till it's not going good. I got lucky though. I sank right here. There's a super wet spot. I'm guessing it's probably running off the neighbors here. Oh yeah. I didn't even notice this. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, luckily, I'm going to give you guys a tip here. So if you ever come in and you slow down to almost a stop, you can see where I stopped here. Just stop right there. Raise your deck up. See right here, this light spot right in the middle? Right where I was stuck, my deck is lower now. So immediately you need to get your deck up in the air to reduce how much you know traction you have on the ground surface you know and friction i guess you could say so what i did is i raised it up and then easily push into your hand controls or your arms whatever you have on your mower and just let it work itself out and luckily this is just a mud line here that'll be fine this will be fine too we'll push it back in everything is soft so pretty much from here i'm gonna check it Probably gonna say this tree. Yeah, right here. So there's a line that comes down through here towards the back of the property. That's literally what I ran right into. This is what nobody shows you very often on social media. It's always the beautiful lawns, the beautiful stripes. You know, everything's going hunky dory, everything's good. And it's not always like that, guys. You're gonna have days where it's raining, it's cold. And it sucks. And this is the last place I want to be and the last place you're going to want to be. But whenever you're a service provider, 
you have customers to take care of and uh, they want their lawns mowed, you know, you do your best and that's all you can do. So I hope it was better for you guys than it was for me because this sucks. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't mind it. It's part of lawn care, part of landscaping, but it still sucks. It sucks being soaking wet. Yes, I know they make rain gear. Me personally, I don't like feeling like I'm in a trash bag, but yeah, soak to our core. Got to put the window up. It's only been an hour. Got to take care of the inside of this beauty, you know? You got hers up. Oops. I think she's about done. We're going to blow this baby off. I think. Hey! Did you mow out back? No. Never mind. I'm going to put you guys in the truck though. You stay dry and warm. We're going to go uh, finish this property. We'll be back. Friendly reminder, guys. Check to make sure your notification bell is turned on. You're subscribed to the channel. And you can also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and on Facebook at Spencer Lawn Care. Love you guys. We appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, we had a little bit of fun here running through the mud puddles. Let's go. Well, we ain't brushing off this, though. <laughs> We're soaked from head to toe. Oh man. I will say that radio station I got on. Oops, shoot, I left the key on. Blow plugs are warm. <laughs> the station I got on. I've never I didn't download it, but it just started playing because I was offline. It was pretty good. I don't know what it was called, but it was good. Huh. I didn't have pulse. Well, that was fun. Yeah, guys, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. We, uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it for today. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It's after one. Is it? Yeah. Those oh. winch wipes are aggressive. <laughs> they are. We love you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. As always. Keep going. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys and girls. Talk to you later. Take you out. Peace. Bye. Bye. Get your floaties on. It's there goes out father there. and son heading back. <laughs> Keeping an eye on your boys, Austin. <laughs>